it's me Aqua and today let's take a look at Nendoroid 1060 Akane Shinjo from the anime SSSS Gridman. <laughs> Here's her box. It's nice and purple like her aura and if it's been a while since this anime came out. If you haven't seen it or if you it's been a while like it has for me. Akane Shinjo is the antagonist, main antagonist of the anime. You see, she is um, in charge of she is in charge of putting kaiju out into the city. Oh my goodness. I don't think I was expecting this when I opened her box. I'm going to check if there's anything in here. Nope. We got it all there. And there's a little authentication sticker, as there sometimes is. Not always, but sometimes you'll see a little sticker. Let's go ahead and take all the plastic off her. There's a lot in here, actually. Well, there's some in the um this piece, too, so I'll have to take that out. Oh my goodness, I'm actually really getting excited already. There we go. Put the kaiju back, and yeah, I'm going to have to take all these legs out, and actually a lot of props are in here, including a pair of glasses. So she doesn't look like she comes with much, but then you look around, and like a lot of these Nendroids with the smaller boxes, the secret is that it was with the base the whole time. All right, let's put the base off to the side. As you know, if you've watched these videos before, I don't usually put the base on as I review because it just takes a long time. Looks like there's a lot of hand pieces. All right. Ooh, that plastic just kind of rolled off her. Wow. She comes with quite a few things, actually. <laughs> Wasn't really expecting that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and work to get the rest of this plastic off. Sometimes it's annoying when you got to go between all the pieces of the head and whatnot. So, I'll be right back. Alright, all of the plastic is off, so let's use some scissors to get everything else out. Whoop. Oh, it even has a little crack on it. Um, I'm looking at these glasses. I won't go into too much detail, but I just noticed they have... That's not a real crack. It's a painted crack, which is interesting. So, she actually comes with quite a few things here. And unfortunately... I might need might have some trouble coming up with poses because this is an anime that I have it has been a long time since I've seen in full. Um I really have not enjoyed it when I did watch it, but it's been a little while, so I'm going to probably lean heavily on the box for poses. But let's see what she comes with. She of course comes with the Nendroid herself with that, oh my gosh, this little jacket is so cute. It's kind of off the shoulders, the hood, the little hands, and it looks like her hands uh, connect directly, like her shoulders, you can see, usually you have a shoulder part, but these are just under here, which is actually really cute. Um, and her little uh, legs in her blue tights, a kind of, I guess you could say sympathetic expression, um, and then just a grumpy or annoyed expression with the hair and an extra hair piece with headphones. And it looks like this is the hair that you would use these glasses on. Um, so other body things wise, she has glasses she could wear, an alternate pair of legs so that she can be barefoot and just walking around being comfy, an alternate part of bendy arms that would be tucked under here. And a several hands, one with a juice box or milk box, one with a little cr phone with a cracked phone screen, a hand with a little um uh, like a a blade, I'm trying to come up with a name, kind of like an exacto knife. Um, you could probably you would probably see this 
used when crafting, which makes a lot of sense because her kaiju basically look like little models. Um, and a pointing finger. She also comes with other props in general. Um, oh, did I show off? I showed off the glasses already. She also comes with this little um, computer with a villain on the screen directing her to put out kaiju and two kaiju. And these just look like it's really cool because how she has it set up is in her room. There's a bunch of little models of kaiju and this looks exactly like those models. This one and this one both I think are pretty were pretty uh, memorable ones in the show and wow they are actually done really carefully. I can see with the spikes and all these little details very faithfully done to the show. All right so let's get her in some poses. This is the first pose I went with. It's kind of based off of ooh, this pose, but I didn't want to use the same, you know, outfit again. And kind of based off this one, I put in her little milk uh, thing, and I discovered the milk is detachable. So if you wanted to just like set it next to her, that would you totally could do that. Um, I'm gonna have be very careful with it though, cause it doesn't, it's a little loose, so I would, if I was posing her upright like this, I would probably tilt her hand to the side. Um, I don't know if you can see, there you go. I would tilt her hand to the side so that, um, the juice box would stay in her hand. It's really cute, though, and it just looks like a miniature juice box. I'm sure you could also, like, set it down on the side uh, if you want to show her working on the computer. I think that would be really cute, too. I also like this faceplate. It's hard to see her eyebrows in this particular with the hair, but I think it turned out pretty good. It's really cute. So this is a pose on the box. It originally used whoop, the other faceplate. But honestly, I think I like this face plate a little better for this pose. It looks a little, I guess, a little more sarcastic. And in the show, there's like a lot of tension between Akane and the main characters. And I, I think this one kind of suits this waving pose. And I know later they kind of, you know, rectify it. But in the beginning, this definitely is more her style. What I'm liking about these poses is you can really mix and match to what you feel the character. I mean, I think that's a, a lot of Nendroids, but this one in particular, I feel like you can really mix and match and pick what you feel is best for the character, or you can kind of pick where in the anime you want it to be based, and around that you can um, kind of make up your own poses. I mean, I'm already finding that within the first couple poses, which is nice. So here's the next pose I went with, the pointing hand, if you can see that, and her phone. She's kind of like using her phone and looking kind of annoyed about it. Um, you could really do I, any of the face plates. I just chose this one because I thought it would really suit imagining a um, scenario where maybe Akane is... Um, reading the news after her last kaiju attack and she's finding that uh gridman actually did manage to defeat um defeat her kaiju i thought this was a really good pose and i'm noticing now in the light i don't know if you can see it but this top is more of a lavender and this is more of a blue it is really pretty i I didn't notice that beautiful gradient on her hair before, but now I see it, I can't not see it. And it is so gentle, and it really, it's really beautiful. I think the bottom kind of bluish purple kind of matches her outfit a little more, and that top purple, um, it's just so delicate, and it, it looks really, really good. Even though Akane is not a delicate character, I feel like it it, it's just really pretty, and it looks really good. Okay, this pose has me thinking. I really like it when Nendroids have stuff that can be removed from her hand, their hands. But should they be removed from their hands? Um, I'll be honest, this one... Well, you can kind of pose it with any of these. I, I want to hold this up. But I'll be honest, this Nendroid pose was very frustrating um, for two reasons. One was this little thing. Just when I thought I had everything else in place, it popped out. 
and it kind of made me wish that this little piece was attached to her hand. Now I understand having it detached, like if you wanted to set it up where she was at a desk and she uh, put down the little um, knife and she put down her juice box, I think that'd be a cute setup. But when you're actually posing her, it does get pretty frustrating. And I don't necessarily think that you would need it to be... I, I don't know how many people want to put it. I think that would be a cute pose, but it is frustrating when you're trying to put it in this pose that it just pops out. Um, the other part of this was the glasses. Unfortunately, it was really hard to get the glasses in the correct place. I was trying to put them on in her hairpiece before I put the face before I put the hairpiece on the face plate um I was trying to put it on after and it really was just not working for me I think I finally got it in but it it was just very frustrating I couldn't find out how they wanted it when I put the glasses in first and then put it on the face plate the nose made it pop back out um, and I think the other thing is there's very deep grooves on the hairpiece for this to go on, but if you push them into those deep grooves, it'll pop off as soon as the nose hits it. So I'm glad I was able to finally get it to work, but I have to admit that was kind of frustrating. Um, I do think in the end it looks good, and uh, let me change one more thing about it. I forgot to do this because I was frustrated with the other pieces, but I wanted to put her little bare feet on, her bare legs, so she got home, she's getting comfy, um, and it does look pretty good in the end, but uh, like I said, it does get pretty frustrating. Here is the last pose I wanted to show. You can kind of set up the, um, on the box it shows it, yeah. shows that the little computer is set up on the ground. So you could set it up on the ground. If you had a little, a bit of extra cardboard, you could probably make a little desk. And um, you could have her pointing at it. And this pose pretty much looks good from all angles. You can see she might be arguing with her quote-unquote boss. Um, and that looks pretty good. And I, you could also have these up. Overall, this pose could be used for a lot of different situations. But... Uh, can't get over the fact that these glasses were very frustrating. So final thoughts on this Nendroid? Well, I'll give you some, I really like the details. I'll give you some of my favorite things about this Nendroid. First of all, I really like the details. I actually think that's really adorable. Um, the paint job is beautiful. The eyes just look gorgeous. Um, and overall, I think you get a lot of stuff which is really cool. I also love the face plates, how well they suit the character, and I love these little guys. They are so well suited. I'm glad they that she came with them. They're very well suited to the character and the show, and I think you could just pose them on their own if you really wanted to. Um, it just fits really well. Um, there were some dark points, like I didn't like how these could just kind of pop out of their hands. That was a little frustrating, and the glasses really had a hard time fitting. But overall, I like this Nendroid. If you like SSSS Gridman, you would probably like this Nendroid too. That's all I have for you all today. I hope you enjoyed this video, but for now, this is Aqua, signing out. Bye!